A son is looking for answers tonight after not hearing from his parents more than a week after they were supposed to have arrived at his home near Galveston. Good evening, I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. The couple, Janice Kenny and Jimmy Weevil from Fort Myers, Florida. They were last seen when they made a stop at a convenience store in Winnie. They stopped to ask for directions to Galveston, but have not seen since. Channel 2's Jake Reiner is joining us live. Jake, we are now learning that this couple may have made a wrong turn and headed towards Houston instead of Galveston. Is that correct? That's correct, Bill. Originally, investigators say they, they thought the couple was headed this way towards the Galveston Ferry, but we reviewed some surveillance footage from this convenience store showing they had gone a completely opposite direction. Pay attention to the date, August 2nd. That's the last time anyone has seen Janice Kenny or Jimmy Weevil. You can spot them pulling up on that morning at Jack's Grocery in Winnie. Notice the black Ford pickup in the U-Haul. Chambers County Sheriff's Office says they were moving from Florida to live with Janice Kenny's adult son in the Galveston area. The convenience store clerk remembers them. Did they seem lost at all? Yeah, they were, because they said, they kept asking me, is this Galveston? I said, no, Galveston's that way. Moments later, you see them on the phone to their son. It wasn't the couple's phone. It belonged to the convenience store. They do not have a cell phone, which obviously makes it a little more difficult for law enforcement. At a quarter to 11, they drive off, at first towards the Galveston Ferry. But watch closely. They make a U-turn with their U-Haul and travel back towards Houston. We can't rule out foul play, but at the same time, there, we have nothing to lead us to believe that there is foul play. The couple is in their 60s and driving a black Ford F-150 made in 1993. Now, we reached out to their son who lives in the Galveston area, but have not heard back from him as of yet. Reporting live in Winnie, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.